Huge Pets and Pet Simulator 99 are super cool, but which one is the easiest one to get in this game? Well, thank you so much for clicking on this video, random viewer, because that question is what we're going to answer today. We're not going to waste any time talking about this. The hardest huge pet, in my opinion, in Pet Sim 99 has got to be the huge glitch cat. And that's for a couple of reasons. One, the huge glitch cat can only be hatched during these times in the chess raid. And you guys got to be online for like a certain amount of time in order to get this thing. So if you're not online, you don't even have the chance to get this bad boy. Definitely one of the coolest looking pets in the entire game. But right now, let's take a look here. This, wait, really? It doesn't tell me the exist count? The, the index is broken? Oh, come on! This thing right now sells for about 810 million. So if that gives you an idea on how hard this thing is to hatch. So yes, for the fact that this pet is only available during certain times of the game, this takes the cake as the hardest huge pet to get in Pet Sim 99 right now. Now, if we're talking about the second hardest huge pet to get in Pet Sim 99, we're not gonna go that far. We're still gonna be in Tech World. And it's actually right over here. I think it's right, yeah, right here. At the Diamond Spinning Wheel. And you guys can get yourself a brand new high-tech tiger. And don't get me wrong, this pet is super awesome, but it's the only pet in the game where you can spin a wheel for diamonds to try to get a huge pet. However, with that said, it's the only pet in the game that's always on the wheel for 0.01%. Sometimes it's a regular one, sometimes it's golden, and sometimes it is rainbow, but it is a very hard huge pet to get because you gotta spend 100,000 diamonds to roll for this bad boy. And don't get me wrong, I've tried this a million times. I think one video I spent like 20 or 30 million gems to get this thing. I'd say this pet is probably on my list for the second hardest to hatch in this game. For the next hardest huge pet to get, we're gonna go back to World 1. Now the next hardest pet to get is the Secret Rooms pet, which is the Lumi Axolotl. And would you know what, I just sold mine recently before I made this video, so there's that, and I only have 35 million gems, so I can't actually go grab one anyways. But, you guys can get the Lumi Axolotl from all the secret key locations in the map, and once again, this pet is extremely hard to get for a couple of reasons. And for that, I gotta put the Lumi Axolotl as one of the hardest huge pets to get in this game. Now, I'm not sure you guys were playing this game during this time, but when the Treasure Hideout came out, this was easily one of the best ways to get a huge pet in this game until Pet Sim 99 nerfed it into the ground. I mean, there were some people getting two, three of them per run because the runs last 30 minutes and those keys never drop anymore. Like, I'm talking never. You could grind for three, four days and only end up with like five or six. How many do I have right now? I think I got, uh, I don't even have any. Wow. Yeah, they don't really drop that often, which makes this pet super hard to get. This pet was super, super easy to get when it first came out. Now, it moves down the list as one of the hardest to get because those keys never drop, and you have to go inside this uh, mini game right here to do it, which only is available every six hours which is wild. Next up, we're gonna stay inside Tech World and we're gonna head over to Arcade Town, which I'm sure you guys know what I'm about to talk about, and that is the Claw Machine for a chance to get the huge Arcade Dragon. When this came out, this was easily number one on the list for hardest huges to get in this game. There was like four or five that existed for like three weeks straight. And now this pet's a little bit easier, but it's still very, very hard to get especially if you guys can't find those good eggs that are inside the claw machine. And you guys gotta grind to get the claw tokens. But if you guys look in here, there's not very many eggs that are epic in here. You got this 20 egg right there. And I mean, there's a couple, there's like one over there, one over there, but it does take a lot of time. Wait a second, did I seriously just get glitched right now? Huh, well go figure. That's just what I'm talking about, the arcade dragon. They do something like this. Well, go figure. Anyways, everybody, the Arcade Dragon makes it on the list for the next hardest huge to get in Pet Sim 99 for sure. Next up, we're going to go back to spawn. I'm going to talk about two pets that are the next up on the list for some of the hardest to get in the entire game. And first up is going to be inside the supercomputer. If you guys go over to the daycare and click on this and roll some pets, you guys can see that the Mebo is actually a hatchable pet inside the daycare. Now, what I will say about the Mebo is, even though it's really hard to get, you guys got to be using the daycare anyways. I mean, this is just such a great way to make gems passively in this game that you should just be using this no matter what. But as far as getting the huge Mebo goes, it's really hard. The regular Mebo has been in this game since Pet Sim X and there's only 3,700 of these that exist. The rainbow one, there's only 118 that exist. Honestly, I should probably put this above the arcade dragon because you only can get this a couple of times per day. So for that, let's just reverse the order of the arcade dragon and the huge Mebo. Next up on the list is the tech spinning wheel pet, which is the huge abyssal axolotl. And I gotta say, this 
This is easily one of my favorite pets in the game. I, I think it's awesome. I love it to death. However, the rainbow version of this is incredibly rare. There's only 68 of these that exist in the entire game. And to get the regular one, I mean, there's only 3,000 of these that have been hatched since Tech World came out. As far as spinning wheel pets go, the Abyssal Axolotl is one of the hardest to get in the game for sure. For the next pet, let's go ahead and head back to World 1. Next up, we're going to talk about the huge colorful Wisp, which you can get inside mini games all over World 1. Now, I would typically put this pet a little bit lower on the list because there are over 9,000 of these that exist, over 1,500 of the Goldens, and over 260 of the Rainbows. So, as far as like rarity goes, this pet's not that rare. But here's the reason I put this pet a little bit higher on this list is because you have to do a mini game to get the pet, and mini games have a little bit of a cooldown, which limits how often you can go for this pet. So, for that, I gotta put this pet a little bit higher on the list as far as difficulty goes because of that reason. For the next two pets, we're gonna need to head over to Void World, so let's do that. And from Void World, you're gonna head over to Prison World, right over here to area number two, and we're gonna talk about the Prison Cat. We're also gonna include the Police Cat in this as well, because this pet can pretty much be involved in this situation too. Now, when it first came out, the Prison Cat was pretty easy to get. They had keys dropping left and right, and it was, you know, not too bad. However, they nerfed the keys into the ground. I mean, I've been grinding for a few days, and I got one Golden Key, and now I only have two regular Prison Keys. So, as far as getting this huge pet goes, it's gotten a lot more difficult because the keys just don't drop that often. So if you're gonna go in here and open some prison cells and use a golden key and open this chest because you do get a 10 times chance to get that if you have a golden key, but like I said, you just don't get those dropped that often. And if you guys want this huge police cat, you gotta head over here to the old vault and complete this bad boy for a chance to get a huge police cat. But here's the thing, the vault does have a cooldown if you complete it. So you're only gonna be able to do this a couple of times a day, limiting how easy it is to get this pet. So for that, I gotta put these pets next up on the list for hardest huge pets to get in this game. Next up on this list is one of my favorite pets in the game, and I really hope they add a rainbow version of this because it's the only pet in the game that does not have a rainbow to it, and that's the huge fossil dragon. Easily one of my favorites for sure, and it's one of the tougher pets to get, but you can get it inside the dig site. It's actually a lot easier now because there are over 21,000 of these bad boys that exist, and when this first came out, this couldn't even crack 30. Even though there's almost 21,000 of these that exist, you do have to come into the dig site and actually set up a macro so you can grind out the dig site long enough to actually get this huge pet. Because the huge fossil dragon only starts showing up when you get to the lower blocks inside the dig site. And if you can't do it, you're just going to be wasting your time. So if you don't have an auto clicker or some sort of macro set up when you come in here, you're going to be spending a lot of time in here when you could be spending that time in the last area grinding out gems and all that kind of stuff and items for you to sell in the trading plaza. So for that, I got to put the fossil dragon on one of the harder huge pets to get in this game because you got to waste a lot of time in here to get one of these bad boys. And this is another one of those pets that I probably should have put above the last one I just talked about, but the huge fire horse is easily one of the hardest pets to get in this game. I mean, check this out. If we look at this, there is only 3,800 of these that exist, and this pet came out when the game released just like the fossil dragon. There's still only 69 rainbow fire horses. And that's kind of sus. And honestly, now that I'm talking about it, this fire horse has got to be more towards the top of this list on one of the hardest to get because, dude, 3,800 of these over the course of like six months is absolutely wild. And what makes this pet so hard to get is that Chest Rush is only available every couple of hours and you only get to spend five minutes in here. So you know what? For that, I've got to put the fire horse more towards the top of this list on one of the hardest pets to get in this game for sure. Now, the same thing can't be said about the next pet on this list, which is the Poseidon Corgi. I don't know if you guys were playing the game during that time, but when the Poseidon Corgi got a buff to it in the fishing mini game, bro, this pet blew up. I mean, look at this. There's more rainbow Poseidon Corgis than there is regular fire horses in this game. I think there's like 60 or 70,000 regular huge Poseidon Corgis. It is easily one of the most abundant huge pets in this game, not as much as it was when it first got the buff. And for that, I gotta say the Poseidon Corgi is one of the easier huge pets to obtain in Pet Sim 99, even though it did get debuffed since that time. And the same thing goes for this whale shark right here. I think it's in area 194, 95, hang on. 
92. Okay, I was completely off. 92. Anyways, in Area 92, you guys get advanced fishing, which you can also do AFK fishing as well. And I say that because AFK fishing is now easier than ever. All you got to do is throw the rod in there and just click. There's no specialty to it. You just click. And because of those reasons, the Whale Shark and the Poseidon Corgi are one of the easiest huge pets to get in Pet Sim 99. Next up, as far as easy huges are concerned, the huge Chroma Lucky. Now, you can only do this event every once in a while, which is why I'm going to put it more in the middle of the of the tier list as opposed to more in the bottom. But the Chroma Lucky is a little bit of an older pet, so there is 27,000 of them that exist, and there's already 300 of these rainbows that exist as well. But another pet that you guys can definitely go get, but in my opinion, not one of the ones that you guys should be focusing on. Now, let's get into some of the easiest huge pets to get. I'm just going to call these ones chest pets and the, uh, the spinning wheel ch uh, pets. So... First up, we definitely got the Propeller Cat. This is not one of the easier huge pets in the game, but those spinning wheel tickets drop more than anything else in this entire game. So the Propeller Cat is definitely going to be on the top of the list as one of the easiest to get, but there are still not as many as there should be with how many spinning wheel tickets there are out there. But the Wizard Westie is a totally different story. There is over 161,000 of these regular ones that exist, 16,000 Goldens, and over 3,000 Rainbows that exist in this game because this Crystal Key drops so frequently. So because the Crystal Keys are so abundant and this thing has been around since the beginning, the Wizard Westie makes it to the top of this list on one of the easiest huge pets to get for sure. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Cyber Agony, and obviously that guy is in Tech World. Now the Cyber Agony had a whole bunch of drama associated with it, but we're not going to talk about that. But the Cyber Agony right now has 125,000 that exist in this game, almost 10,000 Goldens, and almost 2,000 of the Rainbow Cyber Agonies. The fact that it has 125,000 already, and it's been out a world later than the Wizard Westie, might make the Cyber Agony the easiest huge to get in this entire game. But we still got one more pet to talk about and that is the holographic cat so let's go take a look at that real quick for that we got to go to void world now what separates the holographic cat from the other pets is you can actually grind the best area and hatch this chest at the exact same time so obviously anytime you can do that these pets are going to skyrocket in chances so let's take a look at this right now there are 21,000 of these bad boys that exist 4,000 of the goldens that exist and almost a thousand of the rainbow holographic cats that exist it is wild when you're able to hatch and grind at the same exact time. It makes this pet a lot easier to get. So, I don't know. I would say the holographic cat is probably just as easy to hatch because you could do both at the same time. And a big shout out to Zombie1617 for winning our huge pet today. Thanks for being subscribed, buddy. And as always, gamers, if you guys want to win one of these huge pets, all you got to do is comment your guys' Roblox name, drop a like on the video, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So there you have it, everybody. I would say the Wizard Westie, the Cyber Agony, and the holographic Holographic Cat are probably the easiest huges that you can get free to play in Pet Sim 99. If you guys have a different one on this list that you guys think is easier, please let me know in the comment section.